Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 9.49 from Sadiko book. So the question is, find VST. VST is this value of this current source here. I mean voltage source here. And we are given that the current IX that pass through this wind ohm resistor will be 0.5 sine of 200T. So maybe let's just transform this into fastor. So I'll have IX is equal to 0.5 but the angle here will be 0 degrees because we don't have any phase here and we can also extract the omega the angular frequency which is 200 from this coefficient of t so we will have omega will be 200 the unit of omega will be radian over second and this is the unit is ampere Okay, maybe let's name this node here as node A. And because this current here, we know this current, and we also know this impedance, we can actually calculate the value of VA, right? So what is VA? VA is just Ix multiplied by 1 plus minus J1. So let's exactly do that. So Ix, which is ix multiplied by 1 plus minus j1 so i'll have minus j1 here okay what is ix ix is 0 0.5 angle 0 degrees and that will be multiplied by 1 minus j1 Okay, maybe let's just use calculator to do this. 0 0.5 and the angle will be 0 and multiplied by 1 minus J1 or SI. That should be this one here. 0 0.5 minus J0.5 minus J0.5. Okay, maybe we don't need to convert into FASOR yet, but what can we do next is we analyze at the node A. So let's assume the direction of the current. This is going there, this is going there, and this is going there. We can actually do KCL at node A. And what does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one, and that will be Vs minus Va divided by 2. And the other currents is going out, which is this one. So I will have that one is Va divided by J2. And this one here, that will be VA divided by 1 minus J. Okay, maybe let's just put it, it like this. VS divided by 2 minus VA over 2. That will equal to VA divided by J2. And then plus... VA divided by 1 minus J. Okay, let's move out this VA to the right hand side. So I'll have VS over 2 is equal to VA divided by 2 plus VA divided by J2 and then plus VA divided by 1 minus J. And we can factor out the VA. So we will have VS is divided by 2 is equal to VA. And then this will be 1 over 2 plus 1 over J2 plus 1 over 1 minus J. Okay. Now let's multiply both sides by 2. So we'll get Vs is equal to 2Va. And this one will be 
1 over 2 plus 1 over j2 plus 1 over 1 minus j. Now we know that the value of Va is step 1. So just let's plug that in. 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 minus j 0 0.5. And then this one will be 1 half plus 1 over j2 and then plus 1 over 1 minus j. And I think we ju can just plug this in into calculator because this is all numbers. Yeah, let's do exactly that. So we will get the Vs is 2 multiplied by 0 0.5. 5 minus 0 0.5 i and then multiplied by one half there and then plus 1 over 2 i and then plus 1 over 1 minus i Okay, that should get us into our rectangular form, which is 1 minus i. Okay, so we'll have Vs will be our 1 minus i minus j. And the unit here will be volt, but we need to convert this into polar coordinate. So Vs will be, let's convert this into this one. So we will get 1.414, okay, 1.414, and what is the angle? The angle is minus 45, minus 45 degrees, and the question is asked about time domain, so let's plug this, and the amplitude is this one, 1.414, and the function, what is the function? Because this is sine, we can just follow it. So sine. And then the omega is 200. So let's just plug in 200. 200t. And the phase will be minus 45 degrees. And the unit here will be fault. Yeah, because it is a voltage source. And hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. This is the final value. And let's check if we get the same answer as the back of the book. Yeah, I think we get the same answer here. So I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. Okay, that's satisfying. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.